I think we're short one or two. All right, guys. So um, it was good to be on the state in the stadium on the stadium field. We got a work cut out for us right now. We didn't uh, play nearly good enough football on offense. Um, I guess I'll watch the tape, see if I'm wrong, but I doubt it on that one. Uh, but we've got ways to go. We've got 10 more practices, or what do we have? Nine more practices, eight, and then the spring game. We've got three more weeks of the spring game. So that's pretty, until the spring game, we'll have this next Saturday, we'll scrimmage. The following Saturday, we'll scrimmage. And then the next Saturday will be the spring game. So we'll see how it goes. Excited to uh, have uh, Gronk and Brewski uh, come back for us and uh, be our honorary coaches. But we got to put on a better performance than that. Yeah. Yeah, way too many turnovers. I can't even watch it. Uh, yeah, we got no chance to win games if we turn the ball over. So. Our whole program, we always say the ball is our program, and then I think we gave it away five or six times today. That doesn't give us a chance. So we have to be much better with that. Uh, not happy about the turnovers, and until we find a quarterback that doesn't want to turn the ball over, and a running back that doesn't want to put the ball on the ground, then we'll keep circling through to find out who is that guy. Yeah, the defense is head of the offense right now. There's no question about it. Um, and that is normal, right? That is normal. Um, you know, you miss one block and you could have 10 guys doing it right. Defensively, you could have 10 guys doing it wrong. And if the one guy's doing it right makes a tackle, you know, that's the end of it. But uh, I would say this, I would say our coach Fangio, the head coach of the Broncos just talked to our team. He was out at practice uh, the whole day. He was able to uh, just address our guys there at the end. And he talked about three things. He talked about uh, assignment football, he talked about alignment, and he talked about uh, execution and hauling, uh, hauling butt, we'll say, uh, running fast. Uh, so to the ball, and we got to do those three things before anything else happens, and uh, we got to continue to get better there. How do you know Coach Fangio? Uh, he was my very first boss in the NFL. Um, we worked together for six years. I was the, he was the defensive coordinator of the Texans when I was the defensive quality control coach. And then we both were at the Ravens for four years together before he left to go to Stanford the next year and I went to the Broncos. Did he just happen to be in the vicinity? No, he flew in, he flew in for practice today. He'll fly out tomorrow morning, uh, spend the day, have some dinner. Uh, he's a very close friend of mine. So with the defense doing really well and the offense struggling, as you, uh, as you explained, are you frustrated about that? Or are you happy that you have Don Brown dialing up these things? No, I'm frustrated. Uh, we need to be better on offense. We gotta. We can't turn the ball over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what we do on defense if we can't. If we're turning the ball over, uh, and our side of the 50. Now we're asking them to stop guys in short fields. So we have to be better. They understand that. They understand the expectations, and we will be better. So there was a highlight play there right at the end where Drake made a nice move in the open field. What do you like about him as a running back? I like his speed. It's good speed. He did a nice job taking down the sideline. I don't think they didn't take great angles. Defense didn't take good angles. Drake was able to just stay right up the sideline. It's a good way to end it, you know. I'd like to see him get in the end zone, not have to run an additional play. But, uh, you know, that, that was good. We just have to be better all around. You've been having the guys run sprints during the middle of practice. Can you yeah. just explain kind of where that came from and what the purpose of it is? Yeah, what we do is we do a competitive agility period where we mix different agilities in during the course of practice. Number one, to wake them up. You know, we kind of have different, the idea of you have first quarter, then you go run some sprints to get ready for the second quarter. Then you have half time. Then after half time, you now have the ability to get to the next quarter. And then we usually try to get to a period that'll kind of bring them going again. Um, it's just something that we want to see. We want to condition during practice, not after it. Uh, the only time we run after practice is to reward the team that won the competitions. But uh, we just need to, uh, uh, we just do that really to kind of another period in practice. Do you group the players according to like how fast they Yeah, are well that, well fast? today was speed groups. So today was, um, you're just ranked one through 90 from the fastest guy on the team to the slowest guy on the team and one through 10 and 11 through 20. Then we'll do uh, O and D agilities Tuesday where they'll go O line, D line and match up that way. Yeah, we have a we have a good football team, but we just have to play better every play. Uh, what we need, I mean, 
I don't know that. I think that we, we have what we have right here is good enough to win as many games as these guys want to win. Now they have to have that mentality that they're going to go out and win them. Can I ask you about a couple guys who've been out? Yeah. yeah. Um, Gunnar Maldonado is one, Michael Wiley, and uh, Donovan Light. <coughs> yeah, they all have. <coughs> uh, they all have short term injuries. They all should be back by next week. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, <coughs> here, I can't see much, uh, speed, you know, the speed of grass versus the speed of turf. I would say nowadays everybody cuts the grass so short anyway. We're not going to try to go long grass and bad weather and do all that other stuff that some other teams in the Northeast might do or some teams in the Midwest might do. You know, we're not, we're, we're trying to play fast football, so we'll try to mow it like a fairway if it was grass. And if it's turf, we'll try to play as fast as we can on it and, We'll kind of deal with that once we figure out how to get a first down. One more question. What is, uh, what is uh, Scotty Graham like? The best. He's a phenomenal human being, phenomenal leader, uh, a great mentor to the, uh, to the kids. He knows what it looks like, knows what it feels like, and does a tremendous job um, really with each one of his players and takes a personal relationship uh, with every recruit and every player he has. Okay, thanks, guys. Have a happy Easter and have a great weekend.